guys, welcome back to Soph and Stormy. Say hi. Welcome back to Soph and Stormy the Little Hamster. So today, by the title you can tell, I'm doing a pet update slash pet room. <laughs> Did I scare you when I laughed? Anyway, so yeah, I don't I'm I'm pretty sure you guys haven't seen anything yet or really close up, so yeah. So I'll show you guys around. Say bye. He's more worried about going in my shirt. Say bye. Let's start off with Stormy. Stormy is awesome. He's doing great, actually. He has been drinking, eating a lot, grooming himself a lot, and just very happy and friendly. But I'm a little concerned about his little bottom area. It looks almost swollen or giant. Organic. So I might be taking him to vet just to check out. I looked it up on Google and it just says because they're male, they might be larger than others, like females. Because that's just the way they're made. But I'm still a little concerned because it is pretty big for that little guy. And he's dragging around all day. And I'm scared it's going to get infected or something's not right. <laughs> Look at him. So, yeah, he's doing awesome. Just about that one concern. He's been eating a lot, gained a little bit more weight, which I was super happy because he was super duper skinny and I wanted him to gain more weight. He's been drinking, eating a lot. He's just a really nice, happy hamster. One that I really wish for. So, yeah. And then in my last video, I showed you guys his enclosure and a few more items that I was talking about came. So, I'll show you guys in just a second. So, you walk in. And this is my bedroom slash pet room. Ta-da! It's not quite finished yet, but it's how I wanted. This room, I won't be showing to you guys today. That's just my bathroom and closet, so I'll show you show you guys that another time so let's start off with my dress dresser so this is my ikea dresser with the plexiglass on top you have the choice to get it or not i recommend it just because you spill something it doesn't ruin the wood and then these are some glass doorknobs that i got off of amazon and yeah, so this is where I put all my clothes in and stuff. This is where a place where I put my fan because my room does get very hot and I get hot very easily. So this is a nice fan I got um, at TJ Maxx. And then I got this pumpkin in this stand at an antique store. So I doubt you'll find something like that or something exactly like that. And then I got this at my grandma's house today. You can get this at any type of store. Dollar Tree. It's just a fake light up plastic candle. And this, I'm not quite sure where I got this at. I'm pretty sure it was Michael's. It just has a hair tie in there. And it's a cute little pumpkin thing that I like to put stuff in there. But I'm not quite sure what. So I'm just going to fix that right. And then I got this candle my grandma got for me. It is a cinnamon pecan swirl. Almost like the pie. And it smells so good. And I love it. And then Stormy's enclosure. So Stormy was just eating his food. But he went back into his little cave thingy. But this is his enclosure that I'm super duper happy about. So I got this sticker off of Etsy. And it was $8 custom color font. You can do whatever you want. And of course, I put the name Stormy on there. You spell S-T-O-R-M-Y. Stormy. And I decided to do black because it matches enclosure better. Then I got this little pumpkin and a flower I stuck right by his cage just for some nice decoration. And about 10 inches of bedding, I'm pretty sure. A lot of bedding, even though he's teeny tiny, it's the perfect size or amount. I got him this wooden wheel off of Amazon. And then I got his food bowl at the antique store. And then this little wooden plate thing at Michael's. And then that roof at the antique store as well. 
than that long wooden bridge you can get at your local pet store or Amazon. I got it at Amazon and the spinnable bridge I got at the pet store, but you can also get that on Amazon. Then I got this tea, tea light candle holder. It's so cute for a hamster hideout I got at the Dollar Tree. And then a tiny plastic thing with some sand. And then I made a little ladder because if he gets stuck in there, he can climb up that ladder and get out. I made that out of coffee, um, stirrers, just plastic. And then I have this Night Angel water thing because sometimes his water and his water bowl evaporates. So I put some this in here just in case and just see what he likes better. And then I got this cute little Timothy Hay um, hideouts from my local pet store and some flax sprays from Tiny Hamster Paws. And then I got this cute... KT hamster bowl with hamster paws and a hamster face on it. I always put him a midnight snack. So I put him some baby food with some carrots and cucumbers he picked out of that. And then another wooden plate I got from Michael's as well. And over here on the side, you can see I got him more flax sprays. That's also from Tiny Hamster Paws. And then a long stick um, healthy stick treat that I got at my local pet store and then a little um, hamster toy I got on the set on Amazon for about 17 bucks. Came with a lot of toys but gave us them away or just storing where they're in his bedding. And then I got this wooden log. They feel really secured when they have wooden logs so I got this off Amazon with another set. This food bowl over here is kind of like a wooden um ceramic kind of tea light bowl and that came with his night angel sand bath so i took it out of the thing until i put him in there but this is his sand bath it's huge and it didn't quite fit in his cage so i take him out every day for about 30 minutes and i let him play take a bath and run in there that way it's bigger. The other one is just in case at night he is feeling like he wants to take a bath. But I take that out in the morning because I don't want him his hair to get too greasy or stuff like that. And I got this tiny green hideout from my local pet store. And then the sand I got from my local pet store. I use reptile sand with no chemicals added or dyes or calcium. And this is a Night Angel sand bath I got off Amazon, if I didn't mention that. So, I really like that. Here I have my drawer of hamster, um, hamster bowl, a hamster travel cage, extra lights, and another kind of thing I put him in when he's sleepy. It has some holes in there. It's for my dolls, but I used that when I was little. So, now I use it for my hamster. So that's kind of Stormy's enclosure. So yeah, I'm going to be adding some more stuff. And for Christmas, I'm asking for IKEA Detolf. This is the perfect size. It's about 865 square inches of floor space. But I thought the IKEA Detolf would be even more better for him. But this is still good for now. So yeah, that is his enclosure. Water bowl. He decided to come out and say hello. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi, baby. What is he doing? Huh? What is he doing? Huh? What is he doing? Alright, I'm just going to leave him alone. So, yeah. He absolutely loves his enclosure. Get on your wheels, baby. Get on it. So yeah, that is his enclosure and he absolutely loves it. His enclosure are four pictures and a round metal shelf. So this is a picture of me and my two cousins and my grandpa. He's a very nice grandpa. He takes us to plays every year with my two cousins, May and Gabby, and he dresses us up. So yeah. Then I got this picture that my friend got for me for my birthday, Julianne. Rise up and pray, Luke 22, 46. So I love that picture, I have it up there. And then I have this um, succulent fake cactus I absolutely love, I got it for my birthday. 
I got a pumpkin because it's fall, and that back there is my great grandma who passed away sadly. Um, that was hers, and I store my key to my drawer in there. And then good vibes only because that's what should really happen is good vibes should only happen, no bad vibes in here. Then I got some um, of my handkerchiefs from my great grandma who passed away and my great grandma who is living still today. This is some slime putties lipstick and another cat, um, succulent cactus kind of broke, but it's fake, don't worry. And then these two pictures I got from Hobby Lobby and um, this was my grandma and grandpa's name. So I said, welcome to Pap, welcome Papa and Jeannie, but they left. So I have to take that down and write, welcome to Sophie's room with the little hamster as I had before. Then I have a picture of me. That one, that's when I was getting ready for the Lion King play. And my aunt's like, look over. So I smiled and I looked over. So that's kind of the above his enclosure. So hopefully he knows how to climb up that ladder. So I'll record if you guys want to know. But right now he's just in his little sleeping bag. <laughs> he's still in there. I think he just can climb out of that, honestly. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing, huh? Your hamster's eating his bedding. He is not. He is putting in his mouth so he can take it back to where he burrowed or his nest so he can be more comfortable and have more to burrow. So this part, we have this. I already showed you guys this, but just a few updates. You can see my last video. I have this cute jar. Store some candy in there. And then I got these two bottles to store his millet sprays and his flax sprays. And right above that, I have a mini reef that I'm going to hang mini Ellie. Um, ferret lights over. So this is kind of the section. So if you want to check out the video, go check and look in my YouTube channel and you will see that in um, one of those videos. So just check it out. This gigantic wall. So yeah, so I have some fairy lights and I just, with my cousin May, who helped me put them up, put them there. As you can see, there's one lonely picture up there. But I'm going to be adding pictures and memories and, yeah, up there and clip them on to the lights. And then I have this cute shelf I got at Five Below. Speaking of that, I got these lights at Kroger. Anyway, I got this cute shelf at Five Below and I got this at Kroger and these flowers at Kroger. I got my pots and I added flowers and made them how I wanted them to be. I got the second light at Myers this at a plant store and this i don't even know where i got that i think five below not quite sure but that's that this picture that says kind my understanding heart to be I'm not quite sure what that means but i thought that was a cute picture so i just put that right there with my mom my um hanging hanging shelf kind of it has my speaker and my succulent plants that I got at Myers and that speaker I got five below. Pretty nice speaker. And then that pumpkin, it was just in our fall decorations that I stole from my mom. So that's kind of that wall, but I will be adding more to that wall. For that wall, I have a salt lamp, a lonely salt lamp. Plug in, wait, and then a trash can. You probably don't wanna see what's in that. And then we have my bed. So this is my bed. This used to be my mom's when she was a little girl, so I have no clue where she got this. I got this blanket at, um, I forget what the store is called, but it's like a bedding store. And I got this at, um, Kroger or wait, not Kroger, Walmart. I don't want to know where I got this, but it's a really soft, um, comforter, bed comfortable, comforter. And yeah, it's really soft and it's really good for the winter as well. Have these bunch of these pillows. I have no clue where I got these. I can't keep track, but I found this pillow that matched my bed cover. So, yeah. I don't know where I got these pillows from, but somewhere on the earth I got that these. is 
a lamp, a little hanging thing. I got that at the antique store. And then this one boxing. I don't know where I got that or the lights. My iPad, I got at Best Buy with my case. And then a mason jar with water. Thirsty. But yeah, that's this section. And then drawers. Um, where I store my sleeping stuff in there and then some hamster dresser, stuff in there. Or this nightstand, Ikea, and then the handles are from the same on this dresser. And this is kind of a set. And then right next to that is the same bath. It's lonely over there, but yeah. But my hang chair. So I have a hang chair that I absolutely love. This hang this chair hang because chair. I can swing in my own room. A lot of people can't do that. I'm not trying to brag, but I'm just grateful that I got this. That my aunt got it for me for my birthday. I don't know where I got it, but I'll list it for you in the description box below. A bookshelf. I'm taking those books down because I don't really read those, so it's kind of just for decoration. So, yeah. Bookshelf. Sleepy pajama with a llama head. I'm taking down. It's so creepy. Here, I have yeah. a shelf with a real cactus a jewelry box. Just stuff. Here, tie holder, picture, 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 shelf, shelf. So yeah, don't really know where I got this. And then this rug, I don't know where I got this either, but yeah. My laundry basket I got off of Amazon. My mom got it for me. And then I, I've had holder. And then my door has a bunch of these shoes. And then my desk. So this is where I wake up and do my work. I got this desk from Ikea for Christmas. Computer from Best Buy. This chair from Amazon. This from Amazon. It's really nice because it's a lamp in that candle. That smells absolutely amazing. This, store my hair ties on it. And then some school supplies and stuff like that. So that's my desk. And then a few pictures above that is from Hobby Lobby. Two things is this chandelier my mom got for me at a garage sale. And then my lonely curtains over there. But yeah, that's the last thing. <sighs> So anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. Please like, subscribe, and turn on the post notifications. And share this with your friends. If you want me to do any more videos like my morning routine, nightly routine, and just regular stuff for Stormy, please let me know in the comments down below. And most importantly, have a great day. Bye!